Here they may become learners. It is such a wonderful learning opportunity for us as we are about to discuss on another lesson relevant to the parts of chapter 1. So let's start learning. Watch this. As you start reading and collecting data relevant to your study, it is significant that you craft a conceptual framework because it serves as a map that will guide you towards realizing your study's objectives or intent. A conceptual framework represents the researcher's synthesis of the literature on how to explain a phenomenon. It maps out the actions required in the course of the study or the research. Given his previous knowledge of other researchers' point of view and his observations on the subject or topic of the research. In other words, the conceptual framework is the researcher's understanding of how the particular variables in his study connect or it shows the relationship of the variables of the study. Thus, it identifies the variables required in the research investigation. It is the researcher's map in pursuing the investigation. It is created through a visual diagram or a model that summarizes the concepts of the study. Uh, there are actually different ways in how you may create a visual diagram or model for your conceptual framework. The three most common models are the independent dependent variable model, the input process output model, and the concept maps. The basic model we mostly utilize for the conceptual framework is the IPO model or the input process output. If you want to give emphasis to your research process, the input process output model is the appropriate visual diagram for your conceptual framework. To create your visual diagram using the IPO model, follow these steps. First, determine the inputs of your study. Inputs are the variables that you will use to arrive at your research result. These are ones that you can manipulate. Usually, your independent variables are also the inputs of your research. In qualitative research, this refers to the topic or problem identified. Let's say the research is assessment of the LDM implementation through the lens of the senior high school students. You may include in your input the profile of your respondents and the learning delivery modalities adopted by the school. And these are variables that you can manipulate. The next one is outline your research process. Here, you indicate the research process or the methods you will use in the collection of valuable data. Using our example above, the research process should be like this. Data collection of the student profiles, administering questionnaires, tabulation of students' responses, and categorical analysis of data. The third step is state the research output. Indicate what you are expecting after you conduct the research. In our example above, the research output is the assessed level of satisfaction or perceptions of senior high school students in the implementation of the LDM at Andres Bonifacio Integrated School and Formulated School Program Project activity or PPAs for students' effective learning. And the last step is to create the model using the determined input process and output of the research. Look at this example. And that is a simple example of research conceptual framework following the IPO model. For the discussion of the next part of Chapter 1, watch the next video lesson. 
Thank you for listening and studying with me, my Ecom learners. I'll have you again in the next video lesson. God bless, keep on learning, and always wear a happy heart.